Hello everyone and welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek and today I will be unboxing another beautiful model in 1 to 18 scale and this time I have this nice Mercedes-Benz 119E 2.5 16 Evolution 2. What a long name. All right, and this is a racing special uh, made by Solido, which you can see also here. It's 1 to 18, and look at how shiny this 1 to 18 uh, logo is. It's beautiful and shiny, but more important is what is inside of the box. So maybe let me just review here. Uh, it's under license of Daimler, so there is a, a valid license allowing Solido producing Mercedes uh, here is the front of the car, but we will check it also later. And here we, we have also some descriptions. So uh, what we can open are the doors. We have also turning wheels. Unfortunately, this one obviously doesn't have openable uh, hood and trunk. Okay, and the recommended price here is 44.95 euro, which is something like, I don't know, 50 US dollars. Uh, yeah, roughly. All right, so now we have the box and I'm already curious what is inside. Okay, so let me just very quickly open it and give you some idea what is inside. Oh, I, I already see that uh, it's not assembled completely. Uh, as you can see that here we have uh, the side mirrors and maybe also antenna and I'm not sure where to place the antenna. Uh, there is no obvious hole. Maybe let me check again the box because I saw... Uh, okay. So it's somewhere here. On the top of the car there is the antenna. Okay, okay. I can put it there later. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is... Um, okay, so there are four screws and I will need to somehow remove them. So let me use my screwdriver as usually and to really do it very quickly. And sometimes it takes me a little bit more time, but hopefully not today. Sometimes you are complaining that my unboxing takes t way too long, like, I don't know, five minutes just to unbox the car. Uh, I think now I'm quite faster, yeah? It's, it takes me just something like two minutes and then I can already take the car out of the box, like now, for example. Okay, let's place it here. Wow, <laughs> I like all the advertisements on, on the car. Uh, all, all of these are here. Like here, the German one, Zonax Autopflege, which means something like, uh, I don't know, they are uh, selling, I don't know what they are selling, Zonax, yeah? it's. I don't care so much. We are not reviewing here the companies who are sponsoring uh, racing like Bosch or Becker. We have also Bridgestone, which are... Oh, actually, look at that. We have also nice wheels here. They say Bridgestone on them. So, wow, it the wheels actually look a little bit, I, I don't know, a little bit weak, yeah? So, it's... Not really solid here. I'm a little bit afraid that I can break it, but hopefully not. And here in the back, it's a little bit more solid. But let me also maybe uh, take this tape out. So I want to just remove this tape so that we can see it completely with open doors. Huh. A little bit more. Okay, it's not that easy, obviously. Now I managed to do that. And finally now I can do, I can review it. So, uh, do you know what? I will uh, start in the front as usual. And um, in the front, on this Mercedes-Benz, we can see the front grille, which is not perforated. It's actually just painted here, uh, so it's black and the frame is shiny, metallic, Chrome, and there's also a nice uh, star here. So the Mercedes-Benz star, the logo, 
it's very sensitive so i am i will need to be careful not to break it uh, but it's there and i like it when i zoom in even more uh, you can see also the small logo uh, below so there are two logos one is the star and the smallest star below okay so we also have the nice headlamps here uh, actually with some nice details so when i change the angle you can see how also the lights look a little bit different and there's also the turning light the orange one right here okay so indeed very beautiful and then we have also the shell uh, <laughs> um, here and the bridgestone sonax shell bridgestone so all the different advertisements and the air intakes here so nothing is perforated such a shame that i cannot open uh, the hood i would love to but uh, not here on this model uh, but in this price range it's obvious that uh, probably you will not be able to do so many things yeah so it's still okay i'm not complaining i'm just saying uh, all right and then we have actually two colors uh, when you check from the side we have the black all over the top and then we have gray or silver um, in the bottom all right and then um, we have also the name of the driver here so it was mr ludwig uh, from germany and we have the same name also here on the other side we have the name as well so uh, there was only this one driver with his name everywhere and this is actually the amg trim in the back we have a big mercedes-benz logo here uh, it's the star we have also uh, hugo boss as a sponsor and here uh, on the license plate it only says amg and we have also quite detailed and nice rear lights yeah with all the different colors like the turning light is orange and we have the brake lights here in red and also the reverse light which is uh white of course we have also the exhaust here and let me just check very quickly okay it's not so deep uh it's still black and uh, the frame is gray and let me maybe check uh, on the bottom so the exhaust leads all the way here all the pipes are quite visible and they are just painted yeah you can see that little bit of the paint is also around so maybe the masking was not perfect when they were spraying it uh, here with a gray color yeah you can see that uh, it's a little bit over <laughs> uh, it could be done just a little bit better yeah but it's on the bottom so nobody uh, really will see this only me now and then it says mercedes-benz uh, 190e evo 2 and the solido and why is it here this paint i don't know <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay and now uh, i can also check that the front wheels are turning and i want to see what is inside so let me just open uh, both doors you can open two front doors uh, the rear door cannot be opened and you can see inside that uh, this is a racing special so there's only one seat on the left side and a huge uh, gear in the middle so that's connected to the transmission this shift gear and there are not so many details on the dashboard also the air conditioning is a little bit you know just a piece of plastic so don't expect so many details when i check from the other side so what is actually there yeah so it's wow here we have a nice blue seat belt huh i like this one uh we have the ricaro uh on the seat and yeah that's basically it so maybe also let me check the clusters gouges if something is there you know every time i have this issue when it's black uh, the interior is black then uh, not so many details are visible but maybe if i zoom in a little bit here yeah you can see that there it's not so much detail also the steering wheel is quite it's connected to the wheels but it's very poor in details also the gouges clusters behind there is just one sticker 
yeah it's it looks very cheap so the interior really doesn't um, doesn't attract me so much so there are not so many things to really see one more time uh, with this angle you see it's very very much like primitive or <laughs> it's just very basic and not so many details so I don't like the interior so much yeah but on the other side I like the exterior much more uh, and uh, I like also the stripes here so you can see all the stripes and also the feeling like I like uh, how it feels so it's die cast but I don't know if these are not just regular stickers it's really nice to touch it and also here I mean the windows are nice transparent and also like it's a little bit hard plastic so uh, it should be scratch resistant and here we have the wiper which is there also and in the back of course there is no wiper here um, overall I must say I like this car because uh, it has very special exterior and for me this is actually the first car I'm reviewing which is a racing special from the like 1980s and it's a Mercedes-Benz I like all the Mercedes-Benz cars and you know I'll, I have a lot of them already and this is the first Mercedes which is racing special and also here with all those details look at this here it's so big <laughs> yeah uh, it's not really heavy but also not light it's somewhere in the middle so um, this is medium weight when I try to drive it everything is like uh, spinning so the wheels are spinning uh, they are also turning so no issues here what I should also check is the suspension so here we go Oh, obviously there is no suspension here no suspension in the front yeah so this is missing don't expect that there would be suspension okay so yeah I think that's basically it uh, maybe write me in the comments if you like uh, this Mercedes-Benz and if you would buy this for 44.95 euro which is not so bad actually it's a very good affordable price and for this price usually you can buy some Burago or Maisto models and in my opinion Solido is making a little bit better job than for example Burago in this price range yeah so all right so that's the car uh, I hope you liked it as much as I did and now it's only time you know for what for the final rating so let's check it out